Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking the suspension out of the car so we can get that K-member out of there here soon. I have a, a guy interested in the K-member and a few other parts from the car, so I need to get them off here soon. So yeah, let's get into it. So here's a little trick that I've learned. If you have the car up on jack sands and you've forgotten, or maybe you didn't intend to take the tires off, um, and you need to break these free, and you don't have an impact available. I do have an impact, but it's not here right now. You can take a block of wood, set it up under there, and then when you go to break them, it'll actually catch on that wood so that you can remove them. First time I've actually had the wheels off of this thing. The front struts look, they're a little dirty, but they look pretty good. I'll see how they feel once we get them off, but I'm thinking I'm gonna be using those to build the UPR coilovers. So, and get rid of that spring and those control arms. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad in here. Let's start removing these brakes. So to start to get these Cobra brakes off, um, there's this little pin down here. See, it moves back and forth pretty freely, but it's got a little clip on the back side here. And you need to remove that little clip and then pull this pin out. But I'll get back with you guys once I get that out. This is the little retainer clip that goes on the back side of that pin. And then there's a little washer back here also that sits like this. And then now we should be able to pull this out of here. And yeah, that's the first step. Now we're just gonna pry on it a little bit with the screwdriver. go there's your caliper and pad assembly comes off super easy but yeah and these cars have a nice little notch up here that you can sit the caliper up on um, I'm sure if you're really tearing into stuff on here it might fall down from there you can probably use a bungee if you prefer that but it sits up there pretty nicely we'll leave it up there for now all right next to get this caliper bracket off, we gotta remove right here, there's a 15 and a here a 15. So then we can remove this and get this rotor off. There's your caliper brackets. We'll sit, sit these bolts back into their home. We don't lose them. And then now this rotor can be taken off. It looks to be in okay shape. Um, a little bit of surface rust on it. We'll just clean it up when we go to put it back on, but it's pretty good. Next, we're gonna be taking this nut off here. First, we gotta get this cotter pin off of there. See, there's a cotter pin on there. Then we can get this tie rod pulled off of the uh, the knuckle. And then we can go for taking this apart. We'll get a jack under there. And we gotta get this sway bar off so we can release the tension on the spring here because there's still some tension left. So yeah, that'll be next up is that. The cotter pin. It's a 19. It's a half inch out here. So 
So I do have a, you know, the pickle fork to get up under there and separate these two, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be saving these yet. So I would like to keep this boot intact. It usually rips that boot if you use a fork. So I'm gonna try and just hit onto this knuckle right here and see if I can get that to pop free. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but we'll give it a shot. All right, so update, I tried hitting it here a bit, and then I also put the nut on and tried hitting it from the top. Uh, I tried using a pry bar to assist. It's not worth it at this point. I'm just gonna use the pickle fork, get it off of there. Um, they should probably be replaced anyway, so it's not worth my breath. I know that they do make like a puller tool that you can connect on here and it'll basically push down on this to save it. Um, again, at this point, the car is, you know, 20 some years old. So might as well just replace the inner and outers. So we'll get it pulled off. And these are the effects of using a fork. Definitely toast now, but it's off. I mean, it wasn't, it feels like it's got some play in it anyway, so there's no point in keeping it. But now we're gonna be removing the sway bar links and then we can get to getting this knuckle removed from the strut and unloading the spring. It is a 15 on each end. stick a 10 millimeter wrench onto the body here and then undo the nut off of the bottom. So now we've gotten the top nut off and the bottom nut off of the link here. Um, if I wanted to just remove the link or link or replace the links without having to take all of this stuff apart, you could just take off the other side and then this sway bar here should pull up and out of the way to get these links off and out of that control arm down there. But we're taking this whole side off. So we should be able to, once we get this broken from here and get this tension released off of this, this control arm should go down enough to be able to pull this link out of there. Um, if I wanted to, I could get it out now, but there's no point since we're gonna be doing that side later and we're already just taking this stuff apart. So might as well just do it this way. All right, so make sure you never want to remove these and pull this out until you get some sort of jack or, I mean, really, jack's going to be the way to go. Get a jack under that control arm, jack it up a little bit. You don't have to put too much pressure on there, but you want to be all the way up against this because as soon as you take these out and this gets released from this strut, all of that tension from that spring is going to want to push that control arm down and they don't always have a ton of pressure on them but they usually have a pretty good amount of pressure and you don't want to be hurt by that thing so definitely put something under there so you can release it slowly after you remove this but yeah that'll be the next step this is a, both of these bolts here are 21s and then to hold this side the nut side that's a 24 again 21 and a 24.
All right, now both of those bolts are out, so this will fall down. A little spacer in there. Is that over there? But now we should be able to unload the tension in this spring. Actually, just notice it. The wheel speed sensor should probably come out first, just so that we get enough room and slack in this line before we go down with that. And that was a 12 point quarter inch. Give it a couple wiggles, and there's your wheel speed sensor with its bracket. Pull that out, pull it aside. Just put that there. Get it out of the way of that spring. Got the sway bar link out. Right, this should be able to push down and the spring will fall out. Now to get the strut out, up top there are three 15s. I'll sit you guys down for this part since it's just me taking out bolts, so. All right, and then once you take that bolt and those two nuts out, this will just fall up and out of there. It's up in there. So, yeah, now on to, I may not remove this control arm yet. I might go just do the other side. Uh, the guy that's interested in this K-member also wants these control arms. I don't need these control arms because the UPR kit comes with brand new ones for the coilovers because you don't need this spring perch anymore. So I may leave it the way it is, but if you're taking it off, all you need to do is get the cotter pin out of here, the nut, and then use, if you want to save the ball joint, you can probably use a press to get it out of there, but if not, you can use a pickle fork and just go in there pry these apart basically and then your knuckle will be free from your control arm and then there's just two bolts for your control arms to pull those off so pretty easy i don't think we need to explain that one but there you go So most of the suspension is all out of the car, both sides now. I just have the lower control arms and the uh, spindles left on there. I'll probably get those off here soon, but I'll probably just leave those control arms on the K-member. 
Uh, the next video, I'm going to be pulling this K-member out, trying to get this uh, the rack and pinion off. And some of this stuff here cleaned up a bit, so that'll be in the, the next video, probably in the same week. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But, yep. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.